So we are at All Data. I found somebody who uh, can answer us some questions. Um, I'm curious as to what other services they provide other than uh, service information. I know they do. I know they got ScanTone and some other things going on. Let's go ahead and ask him some questions. I believe his name is Brian. Let's go ahead and uh, find out more. All right, so hey, how's it going? Good, how are you today, sir? Pretty good, pretty good. What's your name? I'm Brian, welcome to SEMA. Welcome to the All Data booth. I appreciate your time coming to see us today. Thank you, thank you for having me. Um, we're gonna hand them, hand them the mic. I lost one of my other mics in the tram, so I wish it could be two at the same time, but that's no worry. Let's go ahead and let him take it over. Uh, you'll be able to give us a demo real quick, so. So Mario came by today. Uh, I believe he's using our repair information at his current shop, all our wiring diagrams, labor times, specification, all that good stuff. But we wanted to show you the extra products that we have to help benefit your shop and have you have that complete workflow uh, for your business. So first thing I want to show you guys is our new mobile application. It's our vehicle inspection application. So I'm simply going to use my iPhone to add a vehicle right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scan a barcode, or excuse me, a VIN, but I'm using a barcode here. So we just pulled up a 2017 Ford F-115 Raptor. Nice truck, right? Okay. So I'm going to select that vehicle. I'm going to hit apply. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my customer. All your customer information is stored in our database, or if we had to add a new, we would just add that manually. So I'm going to search for my current customer. I'll pull up myself. Apply. Now we're going to go into the multi-point inspection to ensure your customers' vehicles are safe for their families and in good operating uh, order. So I'm going to add an inspection. I'm going to go to multi-point vehicle inspection. Apply. We just added pictures to this, and you can also add notes via uh, voice-to-text and everything else. So let's just say I find a dirty cabin air filter. I'm going to click this right arrow, select the red, and I want to put a note in there for my service advisor. Cabin air filter, very dirty, looks over two years old. Recommend replace. Done. Now, if we want to add a picture, we can click that button right here. I don't have a picture to take a cabin air filter of, but we do have that feature in the, in the program. Now, say I just let's say I just completed my inspection. I'm going to go to done, complete. Now, what this does, it'll create a work order in our shop management program. So now I don't have to walk up to the front counter and talk to my service advisor. They already know because they see the the uh, repair order already created. So now I'm going to flip over to shop manager as I'm the service advisor. <laughs> and we have it, 2017 Ford F-150. It's in a draft format. <laughs> Vehicle's in the shop, so I'm going to roll over to estimate. <laughs> Just create this estimate for the customer. My inspection sheet is right here. So as I scroll down, I see red. Cabin air filter, looks very dirty. Over two years old, recommend replace, right? So now naturally as a service advisor, I'm gonna call this customer and try to sell this job to get approval and create the RO. So now I'm gonna flip back to my repair order. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding all data, parts, and labor. So we're gonna look up uh, labor for a cabin filter. Here's my OEM part number, my cost. Here's my labor. I'm gonna simply add, add I'm not gonna sell an OEM cabin filter to this customer. I'm gonna look for an aftermarket. We're gonna go apply. So now my labor's added. Now I'm gonna go shopping. So I can go right to AutoZone, or I can go to my next part catalog where I'm gonna be able to show all my vendors on one screen for pricing and availability. Now does that integrate? Can you add more integrations with that? Correct. So I'm gonna show you that right now. So if you're using your, your major AutoZone, Advance, O'Reilly's, Napa, uh, they're all gonna be available. Any any vendor that has next part feature is gonna be integrated in this program for you. Awesome. So, so I'm, we mainly do euros and stuff, so we use sure. like World Pack, Pack exactly. So now I'm looking for a cabin filter for this vehicle. I'm gonna hit display parts. Here you see AutoZone 1999, none in stock. Here we have AutoZone one in stock for 26. Southwest Florida parts. These guys are probably by you, Mario, right? Yeah. 
So let's buy from Southwest. I'm gonna add this to my shopping cart. Now, once I do that and I flip back to Shop Manager, in about five to 10 seconds, it's gonna automatically populate and put the part on my repair order. It's also gonna mark up with my matrix I have set in the system. And sometimes you just have to refresh it. Oh, there you go, next part added, okay. Cabin air filter, labor, and parts right there. Now, as you notice, we can also integrate shop supplies, hazmat, taxes, all that information's on there. If I wanna order this part, I can come right here to order catalog parts, and it goes right to uh, the vendor I chose, okay? Some quick features, your reporting has some sales information, tax information, um, payment information for receivables. Now, now the vehicle's still in the shop, I'm calling to get this approved. I want my technician to do a pre-scan on this vehicle. I know this isn't 100% possible for every car, but why not scan every vehicle we can that comes into the shop to reduce our liability and also generate more revenue. Now we're back in the shop, okay? Um, we're gonna do a pre-scan on this vehicle to make sure we don't have any codes on the vehicle, any check engine lights, things that like, et cetera, okay? So my technician's gonna hook up my all data VCI to OBD2, simply hit the diagnostic button on an iPad. This works on iPad, Android, Windows, phone, all mobile devices, okay? Except for Google. So now we're gonna click on Chevrolet, we're doing a Chevy truck. We're gonna go enhance powertrain, apply. You see it pulls the VIN right away. We're going to do a vehicle-wide scan. We're showing 35 modules on this Chevy truck. And you'll see on the bottom it's what it's scanning right here. Navigation, pre-collision. Okay, so here, anything in red are current and pending codes, okay? So the main difference right now, what are you using, an Autel Snap-on? All of the above. All of the above, right? So you're taking the code off your Snap-on, then you're going over to your laptop and keying in the code in all data, correct? Right. Now, with our fe new feature, we're gonna click on the code, go right to the repair article. So instead of me walking over to my computer, smoking a cigarette, calling my girlfriend, I've got my diagnostic repair tree right here in front of me all in seconds, right? While the technician's doing that, my service advisor now has this pre-scan right in front of him with all the codes, it drops right into your email. I'm gonna consult with my technician. Do we need to call this customer to get a diagnosis for this vehicle or are these just, these just kind of some codes we need to clear out for them, right? Now, is that um, only going straight to email or can that be sent directly uh, to sure. the- Sure, so it, it lives, uh, it, it will live in your cloud as well, so if you come back to here, it'll live right in your da data manager area. You'll see the scan right there. Now, the next release of this product, that will be syncing with Shop Manager. It's just not out yet. When I don't know, I, I can't wait for it. It's gonna be awesome. You know, it's all integrated together. So it's it's semi-integrated right now, but it will be fully integrated, you know, shortly. So, so then with that, you know, I've got all my live data over here. grid view, graph view. I've got a record feature that also stays in the cloud for you. System testing, bi-directional actuations, all integrated to the scan tool. Uh, all done from the iPad, Android, or, or Windows. No huge front cost up front, which is part of your monthly subscription. As long as you're paying subscription, you've got uh, your, your scan tool with you. It's also, anytime we get repair information from the manufacturer, it will be synced with the scan tool. So 2023 is already in there. You don't have to buy the the $1,500, $2,000 upgrade to have that access for 2023. So unlimited updates. Correct. Not unlimited, it's it's always updated. Just, it's never outdated. Right, but it, you know, we, we buy five, $6,000 scan tools, sometimes eight, 10, 15. Right. And we're, we're, buying, we're paying the, the, two grand a, a The year. day you buy it, it's outdated, right? Right. So ours is always updated. That's a nice feature. Now, if we're trying to diagnose this vehicle and we cannot figure this out, we have remote access to our master technicians. 
Ford, Mercedes, BMW, whatever it is you're working on, you're gonna get a master level four technician that has the ability to dial in this scan tool and help your tech fix this vehicle faster and get it out the door. Nice. If something is in this program that you cannot find, and I highly recommend using the search box. This is, this is mainly what I use unless I'm looking for a diagram. Diagrams, I'm going right here. Anything else, I'm coming right here, right? So as I start keying information in this search box, so for this exact truck, that VIN, the word water pump, there's 149 articles between components, service and repair, parts and labor, right? So if I'm not, if I can't find what I'm looking for, I'm going right here to library. See the vehicle here? Select your transmission. And I'm gonna key in here what I'm looking for. And honest to God, within five to 10 minutes, you're gonna get a response back from our master technicians at the corporate office, what you're looking for with, with, the, with the PDF and the information. Nice. Now, there are times we may not have it, right? So what we'll do is we'll go to Chevy, we'll go to Ford and say, hey, we're missing this piece of information. Can you get it in our system? And we'll then email it to you as well. That's basically our full solution with all data uh, as of 2023 SEMA. And uh, thanks to you guys for the time with us and appreciate your time, man. Thank you.